big buff to anyone who has Zhongli on the team. So you have to remember that. Oh my, e Ooh, she Ito goes Abyss. Abyss is pretty much empowering Ito. Floor 12 Abyss. All right, so we got to remember that Ito is pretty much, or this Abyss is pretty much made for Ito. So if his damage numbers are inflated, that is why. And also because, well, Ito is just you know, crap. Super, super awesome to play with. So that is a way point to think about. Now, Ito is super awesome because he's super fun to play with, as well as, you know, he has pretty much the only Geo team in the game. Well, I mean, I guess you could run, you know, Noel or even, um, or even Ningguang, right? So that is also a part of it. We can run those two also in Ito's team who want some extra um fear damage. But uh, he can pretty much carry as long as you have the proper supports for him. So yeah, that is that is a factor. And Ito pretty much needs as much defense as possible because what he does with his ult is he turns the defense into his attack. Which is brilliant and super nice to have because he's not only is he, you know super powerful at the end of it, but he's pretty much tanky. He's super super tanky, which is nice to have obviously. And it's not the most important thing, but it is a factor. So you can consider that if you want, if you are rolling for Ito. But you have to also remember that his damage numbers are currently inflated a little bit because of the current abyss floor. But it shouldn't affect it to the degree that he does like 50% more damage. Alright, this is a pretty good <laughs> that's a pretty good buff. So he's gonna get 40% more defense, which is pretty nice. Oh, okay, we don't get hit by that. And boom. Do some damage. Get Bennett's ultimate. Boom. Boom. A little bit more damage. Stop them. Hit him back. <laughs> Pop up. So the beautiful thing about Ito is because he has a really big AoE, you can expect him to do some nice damage to everyone on the field, not just, you know, the main opponent, which is super, super uh, beneficial, right? Oh, do that, do that, and ultimate. It's nice to run Zhongli so they actually don't move when you're attacking them with Ito. And obviously for the, <laughs> the shield. And actually, Zhongli just makes it super easy for you to build whatever you want with Ito because you don't have to you know, be afraid that he would just, you know, suddenly die in the field or not have a, you know, just a decent enough shield to protect him, right? And not to mention, he does improve his damage by quite a significant number because he does decrease 15% resistance, I think, if I remember correctly. Big buff to anyone who has Zhongli on the team. So you have to remember that. Oh my. E Ooh, Great. Boom. And just a little. These are some pip squeaks. I, I, for some reason, I feel like these two are the weakest. Floor 12, Chamber 3, uh, whatever half it is. Um, two, two of the worst ones. Like, they're so boring. <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's just. They, they're, they don't do anything. It's they're, they're just there. <laughs> Especially if you have Ito just running around like this. It's like, what's the point? But yeah, <laughs> maybe it's just me. I'm not really sure. But I feel like they absolutely do nothing for some reason, and <laughs> it's just. <laughs> I feel like it's so awkward. <laughs> And there it is, right? But yeah, that's our Taki Ito. Pretty fun, easy character to use. And not to mention, he doesn't need much of a build. I have a white blind currently on him. And he does like 28k with Bennett, obviously, and Zhongli. So that's pretty nice to have. I'll see four pieces of the Husk set. Constellation 0, Talents 8, 10, 8. That's why Ushi absolutely blasted through this, which is super fun as well. So all you need is one Ito one Goru, and you're pretty much good to go. You can have a third Geo character if you really want to for that extra buff from Goru. Otherwise, you can just chill and have a good time with just two of these characters. Maybe have Xing Chou in the slot, or maybe even some other character. I'm not really sure who you would have here. And um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Hopefully I uh, see you guys in the next video very soon as well. See you guys later. Bye bye.